Procreate Dreams 2 is finally here, and they just gave us a real lasso tool. A flipbook that actually behaves, and export settings that make your animations look way more professional. But there's one setting that can break your old projects if you're not ready for it. And one feature hidden in this update that will save you hours if you animate frame by frame. Let's talk about what changed in Procreate Dreams 2. What actually matters for character animation. And whether you should upgrade right now or wait. Hey, I'm Chamel, and on this channel we learn animation on iPad using Procreate and Procreate Dreams with a healthy dose of chaos and questionable life choices. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I'm perfectly stable. He says that after he's watched Onion Skins for three hours yesterday. Today we're gonna go through the biggest features in Procreate Dreams 2. Not just look at the shiny UI, but how the new timeline actually feels, the upgraded flipbook tools, including the lasso tool that we've all been screaming about, new brushes and export options, and a couple of gotchas when you upgrade from Dreams 1 that you need to know about. Dreams 2 is a free update. You're not buying a new app, you're just getting a bigger version of the one that you already own. And stick around to the end because I'll show you the one change in flipbook that fixes a ton of annoying problems. Plus, I'll tell you whether I think you should update now or finish your current projects. Let's start with the timeline because it kind of gets a personality split. Dreams 2 now has dedicated timeline modes, Compose, Perform, and Keyframe. Think of them like three different brains you swap between while animating. Compose mode is your tidy your room mode. You move clips around, trim, resize, reorder without nuking your keyframes by accident. Perform mode is the chaos gremlin. You literally grab your character and puppeteer them in real time and Dreams records all that movement as keyframes on the timeline. And keyframe mode is for when you're in full control. You're placing and editing keyframes directly, adjusting, easing, polishing the motion. The nice thing is your brain doesn't have to do five jobs at once. You pick the mode that matches what you're doing and the app stops getting in the way. And these modes become even more important once we talk about flipbook because now you can mix frame by frame and keyframe stuff way more cleanly. We'll get there in a second. This is the part that made me do the tiny animator happy dance. Dreams 2 basically rebuilt flipbook. You can now have multiple tracks inside one flipbook so you can put your character on one eyes on another, and effects on another, and treat them separately. Each of these can have its own blend mode, opacity, and act as masks, which is huge for things like lighting passes and glow effects. <laughs> yes, we have structured chaos, the best kind. And then the thing that everyone has been begging for since day one. Dreams 2 finally adds selection and transform tools to Flipbook. You get a proper lasso so you can select parts of your drawing and move them, warp them, rotate them across frames. This means instead of redrawing an entire arm because it's 5 pixels off, you just lasso, nudge, done. Or you can quickly make breakdown poses by transforming parts of the drawing instead of starting from scratch. Combined with onion skins and multiple tracks, Flipbook now feels way closer to a real 2D animation desk just inside Dreams. I'm going to do a full start to finish character animation in Dreams 2 Flipbook soon. So if you want to see me animate one of the Chaos crew in here and probably break something, hit like so I know to bump that up the schedule. Let's talk brushes because they gotta glow up too. Dreams 2 brings an all new animation brush library with over a hundred brushes designed specifically for animation. Clean line brushes, painterly background brushes, FX brushes, the whole toolkit. And it's just not more brushes. The whole draw and paint engine got a glow up. You now get fixed scale painting so your strokes stay crisp instead of going mushy when you zoom in. 
Color Drop no longer gives you that weird fringing on fills. Each brush can have its own stabilization settings and the app remembers your size, opacity and sliders so swapping between inking and shading is way more smoother. If you don't know how to get to the new brushes, click this little drop down arrow. You'll get this little menu, go back to libraries, and then you'll see your original brushes and then the new brushes. They've also improved the drawing and painting engine in Procreate Dreams so it feels much more closer to Procreate. You get better consistency when painting directly in Procreate Dreams instead of bouncing between apps. <laughs> Yes, more time animating and less time yelling at your file structure. Okay, this section looks boring, but it's secretly where your work turns from nice to, oh, that looks professional. Dreams 2 adds more advanced export options, including transparent video and GIF export. So you can drop your characters over other footage, make stream overlays, or share crispy loops without weird workarounds. Dreams 2 adds an advanced export studio with more control over formats and previewing, plus GIF import, export, and transparent video in HEVC and ProRes. You also get little quality of life upgrades like duration handles, better keyboard shortcuts, brush size memory, luminance masks, all the stuff that doesn't look flashy in the trailer, but actually saves you time on longer projects. All right, let's talk about upgrading. This is where you might get caught if you're in the middle of a project. When you first open Dreams 2, it will do a brush update. It moves your brushes into the new system, so you can use the new tools like Transform and Selections. This can take a little while if you've hoarded brushes like some people. Under the hood, Dreams 2 is storing projects a little differently. So there's a proper migration process once you open older files. That's why it can take a little bit. Then when you tap one of your older Dreams 1 movies, Dreams will convert the file to the new engine. Bigger projects can take a while and you need enough space on your iPad for that process to happen. After that, you might be asked if you want to convert content to flipbooks. And in some cases, you'll need to resize drawings or flipbooks to meet the new maximum size that Procreate Dreams 2 uses. So my advice is to back up everything before upgrading. And it's probably a good time to free up some space on your iPad, storing files that you don't need in other places. So should you update to Procreate Dreams 2 right now? If you're mostly doing character animation and especially frame by frame, I'd say yes. The new flipbook, transform and lasso tools alone make the program feel like it's a much more complete animation app. If you're in the middle of a huge stable client project in Dreams 1, I would say finish that project first and then update or duplicate the file convert it into Dreams 2 and test it before committing. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be animating the Chaos Crew in Procreate Dreams 2 and break down some of my new favorite brushes and export settings once I've abused them properly. So if there's anything specific you want tested, performance, certain brushes, or weird export settings, just drop a comment below. If you want a fun project to actually try in Dreams 2, I've got a Christmas Chameleon tutorial using my new brush pack, perfect for testing flipbook brushes and export without having to come up with your own idea from scratch. I'll link that video right here and in the description as soon as it's live, so check back if you're watching this early. Hit like if this breakdown helped, subscribe if you want more Procreate and Procreate Dreams Chaos on iPad, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, that's enough.